Imagine that you are sitting on a chair in your living room, eating a chocolate bar, wearing your favorite jeans and a t-shirt. This is a typical part of your daily routine, taking a break between tasks. But today you start wondering how all these pieces came together. Where did the wood for this chair come from? Or the cotton for the t-shirt? Or the ingredients of your chocolate bar? Wherever you are, chances are good that the raw materials for the parts of this scene came from all around the globe. Wood from Brazil, cotton from Burkina Faso, cocoa from Ivory Coast, sugar from Fiji. Then those raw materials were processed somewhere else. Chair in China, t-shirt in Bangladesh, chocolate in Vietnam. For companies from somewhere else entirely. A Swedish furniture company, an Italian clothing firm, an American chocolate giant. Then you start wondering about all the energy and other raw materials that went into all the production and transportation processes that brought you your chair, your clothes, and your chocolate. The Saudi petroleum that fuels the Liberian flagged, Greek-owned container ships, the French water company that controls the water supply, where the factories are, or the coal-fired electric plants that supply the electricity to the mills. You are a part of so many commodity chains with so many ramifications for the planet that suddenly you want to burn your chair and throw off your clothes and you are no longer hungry. <sighs> this is a course aimed at helping you to not feel this way to feel empowered to address the very complex webs of production in the world. And how we can make decisions as individuals, communities, and societies that move towards a more environmentally sustainable and humane urban world. I am Mary Rickle Pelletier. And I am Garth Myers. And welcome to Sustainable Urban Environments. <laughs>